And well, it has been a very active monsoon season. The much needed rain, though, brought quite a bit of damage. So what exactly happens to all those uprooted trees? Team 12's Jess Winters joins us live from a place that turns those trees into furniture. Jess, I bet he has a super busy month or so going on. Busy to say the least. Yes, a local sawmill is turning down trees into one of a kind pieces of furniture. Shaquest Millworks, this is in Peoria. Todd Lankford, the owner, he's saying that he's never had as many logs as he does right now. I'm going to bring him in. So, so how does this work? Is this 100% recycled material that you're turning into beautiful pieces of art? It is. It absolutely is. During the monsoon season, you've seen trees that have come down all over the city because of winds, because of rain. Um, the tree service companies and municipalities and homeowners uh, and their desire to recycle those materials, they get in touch with our company and we go out and we recover logs or if they're capable of it, the companies bring it to us. We bring about 500 logs a year into the sawmill. Uh, we bring them here. We've got three sawmills on site where we process them down into lumber and live edge slabs. We have three kilns here on site. Um, we, then we make the furniture or make the material ready for furniture. So you're working with tree removal companies, and this is kind of a win-win, right? Because where would this wood go otherwise? Everything would end up in a landfill. Um, it, all of the tree service companies, municipalities, they have to pay a fee. Uh, sometimes it's up to $80 per ton of material to be disposed of. And last year, pulling 500 plus logs in, uh, probably about a million pounds worth of material we saved from going into the landfills. Ooh, that is amazing. Let's show people how this is kind of done as they're taking a gander of this entire shop. I've been fangirling a little bit over the tabletops, dining room tables, shelves. You do a little bit of everything. And this is where you sand and you used to, back in the day, have to really, really work at it. Oh my goodness. To, to sand live edge slabs this size, uh, three years ago when we first started out, we would sand on something like this for eight to 10 hours. Um, we brought this machine in from Australia a few years ago. Let's get it going, power it, on. It is a big planer. Uh, it'll do up to 16 feet long and seven feet wide all in one go. So instead of sitting around and sanding all day long, we just look at this machine, which is actually kind of boring. But when you get bored watching this machine, you think back on how much work it was to actually sand the material in the first place. So once it gets to the end of the, uh, the slab that you're working on, then you'll stop it. We can stop this mid stride here, and then you can index it over and send it back the other way. Awesome, Todd, thank you so much. We'll have more on this machine, and we're also gonna get outside to show you how more things are done, show you more of the pieces of furniture. This has been his busiest monsoon season to date in the past three years. We're live in Peoria, Jess Winters, Today in AZ.